if my sense of direction is good enough then that area is where I'm going to settle today one hour and a half to go This is Old Tolling Tunnel and a funny mistake I made, I thought it was the historic trail that migrants from Qing Dynasty took but it actually was constructed on the Japanese colonial period. Um, but anyways, I am just gonna imagine myself as being my, one of the migrants coming Wait, coming from the West Plain and have traveled from Nangang to Jilong, those, and all the way, and then finally at this point, I am entering Nanyang Plain. There seem to be no other people just me here and with this tunnel it should be a very good karaoke place hello hello is there anyone over there no. anyways oh, oh my god oh my god Guishan Island. I think it's the first time I look at it and I really feel it resembles a turtle. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello everyone, if you still remember the tiny skyscrapers I've showed you in, in the previous footage, you will know that I have passed my geography test. I am right now here in Taocheng finally and my mission to, to follow a migrant from Qing Dynasty's route to go from Nangang to this place where they first settled and formed a village complete. You feel that magical connection to them and I'm very glad that I did it. Shout out to my favorite history related class back in university's professor, Mr. Lee. That's one point and the other Thing that I want to share is super super cool. I actually wanted to shoot this footage back at Lanyang Museum which is a landmark here and also a special place to me because of my previous visit here six years ago. But anyway, interesting stories happened there. At first uh, a pair of father and son came to me just when we finished our chat took a photo and said goodbye to each other another gentleman came to me i can i could assume that he is a japanese just by his accent and i thought he was gonna ask me for direction but actually he works for a travel agency and he's here take photos of food, delicacies and interesting sites, famous places to go for his travel agency's uh, package promotion. And so he has to go to a lot of different restaurants every night and shoot all the dishes. And the reason he came to me was because he could not finish that much food. So he wanted me to join him with dinner because he overheard that I am traveling alone 
and he was wondering if I had dinner already. Anyway, he came to me and invited me. I was like, what? It's free lunch and a free dinner. Even though they say there's no free lunch, but I joined his dinner. Thought it could be a once a lifetime chance where I could polish my Japanese again. So I boldly, I plucked up my courage to ask if I could speak my broken Japanese with him. And he generously agreed. It's not only a matter of me having a free private tutor, but also I learned a lot about his story here in Taiwan. Of course, I learned a lot of Japanese, maybe too much. Maybe I already forget some of them, but there are absolutely a lot that I've stored in my memory and will cherish them forever. You know, the whole process was just so magical to me. And I'm very glad that I took the first step to ask. <sighs> I am so content. And he also wanted me to promote a little bit about his Instagram because he's a professional photographer. And if you are interested in his work, I'll put the link down below. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we'll be leaving coastline and going to more of the center, the E line. See you tomorrow.